We're seeing a huge increase in the use of um, or the adoption of M Health. So that covers both wearables, apps, telehealth, telemedicine. From the patient perspective, I think wearables will serve to get the patient more engaged potentially because now they have something that makes them more a part of the study. So, you know, oh geez, what's that, what's that you're wearing on your wrist? Oh, that's my, you know, my uh, Fitbit for study ABC123 and, you know, it, it, it makes them feel like they're a part of something, like they're engaged and I think that's a good thing. So the M Health really fits into sort of three categories from the patient side and the, the apps that patients are using. Um, most of those are from a healthcare and lifestyle perspective. Then the next category that we see are those that um, help patients find out about symptoms and disease states. And then the third are communication with their physician team and their care team, so both from a research perspective but also from um, a health perspective. So we're seeing um, quite a lot of uptake actually in certain types of wearable technology um, in our clinical trials, in particular accelerometers um, which are used, have well, been used for a long time in the assessment of sleep um, but being used as well now in, in measurements of activity, physical activity and also sedentary uh, behaviour in patients. We're looking at new technologies that enable us to take trials to any patient, you know, and processes and systems where we can look at the data for patients in, you know, um, public health records and then if they're a patient that can qualify to, to actually take technology to their primary physician or to their you know, local research centers and, and enable them to join a trial in a much more friendly environment. So instead of having to travel four or five hours to, to get to a research center, to actually be able to put technology in the hands of a local physician increases efficiency, improves quality, uh, and it enables us to finally start to take uh, chunks of time and effort and cost out of the clinical trials process. One of the biggest challenges for sites is that often they are the support arm for the patient. Apps and wearables are very simple and very intuitive to use. The simpler the better. What I think is this type of data um, really um, requires the, the unification of stakeholders so it really brings together yeah. entities like payers, like sites, like you know study sponsors, um, patients. So it's it's really about um, you know uh, unifying the the goals and the um, outcomes of the clinical trial, but it's bringing the entire research community together um, in a way that that really benefits ultimately the patient. In the CRO world, changes. It's not even inevitable, it's even, it's even more fundamental than that almost. Every trial is slightly different, every trial is a slight advancement on technology or process. 